Hi guys, it's Sahara. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my best and worst thrift flips on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari for this last week of May. I'm super excited to show you what's sold, so let's get right into it. Okay, so I will be showing you the best sales first and the worst few at the very end. So stay to the end if you want to see the flops, the items that I would not recommend picking up. So this first item is some Blanky high-waisted postpartum nursing support leggings. I actually bought these earlier this year when I was pregnant. I bought them on Poshmark thinking they were um, maternity leggings because they were not listed properly, but they actually were postpartum. I wasn't able to wear them myself, so I just resold them. I included them in the video though because this is a really good maternity and postpartum brand to be on the lookout for. Um, the postpartum leggings don't go for quite as much as the maternity ones, but definitely a good brand to be on the lookout for. That's what the logo looks like, and I could easily see finding these at Goodwill or the bins potentially. Next up is this beautiful Anthropology Roller Rabbit green mini dress with these like embroidered fruit print all over it this was such a nice dress it was like so thick like high quality material i picked it up at the bins and i immediately knew it was worth something even though i had no idea what the brand was um i had this listed for 55 dollars to start then it was on 10 percent off and it had been listed for probably about three months i had a lot of likes on it and stuff i was really hoping it would sell faster but eventually, just this past week, I got an offer for $35, I think, and I just took that offer. So that's what it sold for, and I was happy to move it for that, considering it came from the bins. Okay, the next item was another bins dress. If you watched my haul video from a couple weeks ago, you would have seen this. Um, I had never picked up this brand, Everyday Ritual sun and sea before but i saw it at the bins and i saw like the gauzy material so i figured i should look it up i really didn't expect it to be worth so much but it sold super fast for 44 dollars okay this next item was another bins pickup as you can see i like to shop the bins a lot um this was a vintage angora rabbit hair blend fuzzy pink sweater it was giving off like kawaii pastel vibes to me so i just felt like somebody in like that niche would like it like somebody in that aesthetic would want this and it sold super fast on an offer for twenty dollars so i was super happy about that because it was just a little bit unique and there weren't a lot of comps so i wasn't sure how quick it would sell especially considering it's summer so when i got an offer for twenty dollars within just like a week i was happy to accept it the next item is this miracle suit, swimsuit. It had actually sold once before. They got returned to me because it didn't fit the person properly. But it was a miracle suit, size 12, swimsuit. Miracle suit is an excellent brand to be on the lookout for during the spring and summer months. Um, and yeah, this sold the second time for $25. Usually you can get a little bit more for them, but I just wanted to move it after it was returned to me. I don't know if you guys ever feel that way. When you get an item returned, you're just so happy to actually sell it again the second time. All right, the next item was this flax. This is one of my favorite linen blends to find linen blends linen brands to find um it is always like a hundred percent linen they always have these really unique tags like this one that says everything i eat turns to perfect health um and so they make a hundred percent linen stuff the tags really distinctive usually i could have gotten a little more for this but this dress actually had some stains and such on it i would think that would show you it better but it oh okay it was all right, so yeah, this dress had some stains. The seams were a little worn, and yeah, I still sold it in like literally one day for $25, and I got that at the regular Goodwill, so I paid $8 for it. All right, the next item is another one you would have seen in my thrift haul. These are in my shoe haul from just like a week ago at the Benz, so they sold super fast. These were Dansko, Lydia, Red leather, like chunky platform slide sandals. 
super pretty and in excellent condition definitely giving off like 90s by 2k vibes at least to me um, and these sold for about $25 okay the next item was this awesome mod cloth dinosaur bones fossil um, like knit top this sold in just a few days of listing it for $30 an offer I received I had it listed for 40 but I happily took that offer to get it out the door super fast like I said it sold in probably a week or less I paid $5.99 for this at the regular Goodwill mod cloth is an awesome brand to look out for and especially items like this that have like novelty prints or that are just super unique styles are really what performs best in that their brand Okay, this next item that sold is one of my favorites to find at the bins. It is these Croc Isabella flats. These come in a couple different styles and they all have the same name on eBay, the Isabella. But they're very distinctive. It's like the Croc flats. Um, and they sell super fast. Like they have like a 3 to 400% sell through rate, this particular style. So I always pick them up when I see them. These ones were in excellent condition. Really cool color, kind of like a translucent, like glow-in-the-dark look almost. I don't think they glow in the dark, but who knows. But yeah, these sold super fast. I got an offer for $20, and I happily took it. Um, okay, this next item was a Tula baby carrier. Um, I'm familiar with these personally, just from my experience being a mom. But if you are not a mom, you might not know. Some baby carriers, not all are worth picking up um if you're at the bins some of the ones you could definitely look out for are like tula ergo baby lilla baby happy baby if you saw one of those definitely pick it up those sell amazing but it's hard to believe you find one at the bins <laughs> um and so these sell really well um i got an offer just the day after i listed this for i think 30 it was either 30 or 35 that i sold these for so I was super happy to sell it so fast. I'd actually been hanging on to it for myself, but I figured I wasn't going to need it. So I just went ahead and listed it and it sold pretty quickly. All right, next up is another item you would have seen in my shoe haul. These are Mephisto. Lissandra was the style. Um, wedge cork sandals. I picked these up at the bins. Um, they were in like literally like, like new condition. I used a little leather cleaner on the straps and they looked amazing. Not all Mephisto sandals do quite so well, but this particular style for some reason just had really great comps. I listed at $75. I got an offer within just a few days for $65 and I happily accepted that. That was probably my best sale I think in this last week of May. Okay, the next item was these BKE men's jeans. I'm trying, I think, okay, yeah, I picked these up at the bins. I wouldn't have picked these up at the regular Goodwill with the spots on them and stuff. But I picked these up at the bins a couple weeks ago, probably two to three weeks ago, maybe a month. Uh, these are the BKE Buckle Men's Seth Straight Jeans. These sold on an offer for about $20, I believe. I love picking up BKE Buckle Men's Jeans. I, like, almost always pick them up at the regular Goodwill if they're in good condition even paying six to eight dollars for them I'll happily pick them up for that price just because they always sell super fast and they have excellent sell-through rates and so that's what's really important to me when I'm paying up for an item is the sell-through rate that's what reassures me that it's definitely worth paying more for okay the next thing to sell was this brand new with tags Harley Davidson t-shirt in a size 4XL I found a bunch of these brand new with tags Harley tees at my local Goodwill. They wanted $10.99 for most of them, which was a little much to pay, but they were all in really big sizes. So they were mostly all like 3XLs, 4XLs. And so I figured it was worth it. I picked this one up for $10.99, like I said, and it sold in less than a week for $28 on Posh. So I probably made about 23 or 24 I want to say so just like a 10 or 11 dollar profit but I figured it was still worth grabbing because I knew they would sell okay next up was a really fun sale I've had this for probably about three to six months I want to say maybe more like three to four I do not keep track that well of when I got things 
Um, but this was like a vintage 1940s women's blazer. The brand was Betty Rose. And when I checked the comps, some of these had sold for quite a bit of money. So I think I initially had it listed for like $50 to $60, but gradually lowered the price a little. And then I got an offer for $43 and I was happy to accept that. So I bought this at the regular Goodwill and I paid five, $5.99 for it. I want to say is what they charge for blazers there. Um, so yeah, I was happy to sell this. The reason that I picked it up in the first place is because I could tell just looking at the tag, it was very like vintage. And so I just decided to check the comps while I was at the store and they were good. So definitely look out for like unique vintage tags like this. Okay, next up is another bins pickup. I picked these up at a different bins location that I usually go to. I went with my sister one day. I've gotten her into reselling. So we get to go thrifting together now, which is fun. These were in relatively good condition for on running shoes. If you're not familiar with this brand, it is an excellent brand because even when they are flawed, you can usually still pick them up and sell them. And I'll show you what I mean. So on the sole of these, they did have like a little indent, like a tiny little piece was like ripped off, which usually I feel like would be like a deterrent in like running shoes and stuff. But these still sold in just a week or two of me actually listing them. It took me a while to actually get around to cleaning them after I got them. I'll be honest. But once I got them clean and I listed them, um, they sold pretty fast for an offer of $44. Okay, this next item is something that I picked up at the regular Goodwill. So I paid $7.99 for it. That's what they charge for dresses at my Goodwill. Um, and I actually picked this up for myself at first. I just thought it was cute. I was not familiar with the brand. It sat in my closet for a few months and I never wore it because I wasn't crazy about like the little ruffles in between the tiers. Um, so I finally just decided I'll just list this. I'm not wearing it. I like to declutter my own closet a lot. So um, I looked it up and the brand was actually an anthropology brand and it was worth quite a bit. So I had it listed, I think for like $45 to $50, and finally I accept an offer for $42 after probably about three weeks to a month of being listed. And so definitely keep your eye out for this Able the Label brand. I have a jumpsuit by them listed now that I just got a few days ago, and it already has quite a few likes on it too. Okay, the next item was another one you might have spotted in my shoe haul these are fly london yala wedge sandals um this is what the logo looks like and on the bottom they have a little fly i've sold this brand once before and it performed about the same for me selling for about the same price so this is definitely an excellent brand to keep your eye out for these sold in probably like three days of being listed and they sold for my full asking price of 58 dollars. so i was super happy about that Especially because, like, the straps and the leather wasn't in, like, superb condition. They definitely had signs of wear. But they still sold super fast for an amazing profit. Okay, the next item. Sorry, I thought I had these pulled up already. This, um, I got these at the bins. These are the kind of, an item, an example of an item I'm on the lookout for at the bins right now. These are Silence and Noise by Urban Outfitters wide leg cropped pants. This particular style is doing amazing right now. I'm listing them in just average brands like Urban Outfitters or another one I sold was YFB, Young, Fabulous, and Broke. And they're selling super fast for me. These sold literally overnight after I listed them right before bed. They were sold by the morning for $17 on Poshmark. So not a huge profit on that, but definitely worth picking up at the bins. These I got at the regular Goodwill. They were $5.99, I think. They are Judy Blue shorts in a size 1XL. And so I thought these were worth picking up because it's summer. Shorts are definitely very popular right now. They were really cute style with the raw hems. And I guess this is called a tulip hem. I did not know that. I found it on somebody else's listing. Um, but yeah, so these were a big size. Judy Blue is an excellent denim brand. So these sold super fast for $24 on Mercari. My Mercari sales have been super slow lately, but it's also like the last platform I cross post to, so that might be why. Um, okay, um, these are Rock Revival men's 
Fabio bootcut jeans. If you watched my haul, you would have seen these. They had quite a bit of staining in this upper area here. I would zoom in, but I'm worried it's going to stop recording my video if I do. So I'm trying not to mess with that. Okay, so these had quite a bit of wear. They, I got some of the staining out, but it was still very visible. They had some holes. Um, the button was missing on the back, so they had quite a few flaws. Oh, yeah, and they actually had holes near where the pocket was. But these still sold in, like, less than a week of being listed for $29 on Mercari. They actually, like, as soon as I cross-listed them to Mercari, they sold within, like, an hour on that platform. And I also sold women's Rock Revival jeans on Mercari just the week before. So, apparently, Rock Revival does good on Mercari. <laughs> Okay, so this next item is one, like, a style that I have picked up so many times. Um, these are Echo Yucatan hiking sandals. Not everything by Echo does good, but this particular style has an excellent sell-through rate, and I have probably sold this exact style of sandal five, six, seven times, something like that. So I'm always on the lookout for it at my bins. Everyone seems to pass them up, but if you know the comps... They are worth grabbing for sure. These sold in less than a week for $49 on Mercari. Okay, let's see. Next up is this Leoma Love Grove tunic top. This was a new brand for me. I saw this at the regular Goodwill. I thought it looked interesting, so I put it in my cart to look it up. And then by the time I was checking out, I hadn't had the chance to look it up. My son was fussy a bit and ready to leave. So I just figured it's very artsy. It's an extra, extra large. I should be able to sell it for a profit for sure. So I grabbed it and I was surprised to see it was actually had excellent sell through rate for the brand in this particular size. And so it sold in just a couple of days for $27 on Mercari. And I paid $5.99 for it, I believe. Okay. Next up, this is an example of a not so good sale. So I picked this up at the bins probably about six months to a year ago. So definitely not a fast sale. Um, it was just sitting around for a while. Finally, I got an offer, I think, the other day for $5.40. And so I just took the offer. And yep, so this is by Olive and Oak. It was just like a really basic top. I wasn't familiar with the brand. I'm not really sure why I grabbed it. I think maybe at that point I wasn't really checking comps for things that I didn't know like I do now. At the bins, I will like always take my cart to the side and if I don't know something, I will just look it up just to be safe so I don't have items like this that I hoped would be a good deal, but that just weren't. So I wouldn't recommend picking up this brand. The next item is something I got from a Thread Up Rescue Box. And so this is definitely... Not a style I would have personally picked up. It's just not, like, personally, I don't like stuff with this, like, beading and rhinestones and stuff like that. I just feel like it's a little dated of a look. The material felt very, like, cheap and not very nice. Apparently, this brand was sold at Anthropology, so I threw that in my title, hoping it would help it do a little bit better. But I've still had this dress since October, I want to say, because that's when I bought the box. So probably almost nine months now I've had this dress for. So I think I marked it down for Memorial Day maybe. Yeah, and I think it sold for this full price. I don't think it was an offer. So it sold for $10. And my average cost on the Threaded box was probably like $2 an item or something. So it really wasn't like a horrible profit. It just was a very slow sale. So I definitely would not be picking up like this style of dress personally or this brand again. Okay, the next item is a tank top I got from the bins. I've had this for a very long time. This is another one where I did not check the comps. I wasn't familiar with this brand. I just saw it and I thought it kind of looked like a nice brand, so I grabbed it and it really wasn't. I didn't have good sell through rates at all. I actually sold this for only, this is $3, but it only sold for $2. I was just happy to get it moving and make back the money that I spent on it at the bins, which is probably one to two dollars. So definitely glad to move that piece, even if I didn't really make much of a profit on it. Okay, and the last item was another bins pickup. 
I tend to pick up every free people piece I get at the bins, but maybe I should be a little bit better about checking comps. Um, this was a free people romper in an extra small. Personally, I didn't like this style very much, and I guess not very many people, other people did either because it certainly sat for a while. And I finally, I think by doing like bulk edit the listing price on my closet and dropping prices a few weeks um, in the last several months for closet clear out days, um, it got down to $7 and somebody finally bought it outright for that. So I only made $4.05 off of this free people romper. Um, so definitely not the best sale. It was an extra small and it's just kind of like a weird style like buttoned up all the way to the neck. I just feel like not a lot of people like to wear stuff like that. So definitely like if you see free people at the bins, I would maybe pick up all the bigger size items or if it looks like a really new style. But if it's an extra small or small and it looks like an older style or a less popular style, you should probably check the comps which with free people items, if you just look at the inner tag, there will be a style number that starts with OB on the tag and you can type that into Google along with free people and it should bring up the exact style name so that you can look the item up. Okay, so that is all for this what sold video. I hope it helps you guys learn some new items to be on the lookout for or what not to grab. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe so that you can see more videos from me and click like if it helps you out. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Thank you so much.